In June of 2020, amidst the COVID pandemic and all the craziness going on, kind of a last minute thing, we decided to plan a trip to the Allagash. An eight hour drive, but worth every bit of it, because you get what you pay for. Hazmat? Do ya? Mario? And Coop? All four of us exploring the most pristine and remote place in the United States east of the Mississippi. So we are just about to put it in on uh, Chamberlain Lake. Telos is off here and Chamberlain to the west. Being that we had an almost eight hour drive, plus another hour to pick up the kayaks, we didn't think we'd make any progress on the water on day one. However, we were running ahead of schedule, so we had enough time to paddle about a half mile from the Chamberlain Landing all the way to the Boy Scout camp. Best decision we made, we could see the Milky Way as dusk broke that night, banding straight across the sky alongside the treetops. Left me with. What's wrong with your spot, dude? It looks pretty good. Crooked, roots. Well, you put a pad under, you won't even feel that. Why I wanted the hammock, because you don't have to worry about roots, flat spots. So wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> it sure is, man. I mean, look how tranquil that water is. There's no... I think it's that sunset, that skyline over there. Yeah. That's what's up. The clouds are perfect, the colors are perfect. You see a little couple fish here and there jumping out. Day two on Chamberlain Lake. So it was gonna be a fun day. Our goal was to make it to Gravel Beach, but I was a little concerned about it being already taken because it's a popular site. So our alternate was going to be uh, Donnelly Point, about a mile and a half past that. But before we made it up that way, we were going to make a stop at the Ledge Point campsite, check it out a little bit. Life is good. Amen. Yeah, folks, definitely. Look to your right. What a beautiful day to be out on the water. Can't complain. Absolutely. Life is good. Amen.
Nothing but open sky. That's right. Beautiful clouds. Oh yeah. Beautiful company. Coming up to Gravel Beach Campsite. So we rounded the bend of the west. I was eagerly hoping that the Gravel Beach site would not be occupied, as it's a very popular site on the lake. Luckily, the GPS had showed it about a quarter mile further than it was, so getting there sooner was a nice little surprise. Speaking of surprises, I was a little caught off guard with how shallow and low the water level was by the Gravel Beach. I ended up having to just uh, tow my canoe in, or my kayak that, or for that matter, the last 100 feet. Gravel Beach did not disappoint, with plenty of open space into the wind, which minimized the bugs. What's the word, Mario? Oh, Norman. Uh, yeah. Time to get our grub on for dinner. That's yeah. right. Hard yeah. day of paddling, a whole five and a half miles. Yep. We all did it like champs. That's right. Loving the day, beautiful like weather, day wind's right. blowing. Yeah. Yeah, we got here just done. before the wind came up. Can't complain. That's right. Life is good. And it's about time for me to grab another beer. See things that you normally wouldn't get to see. And that's another reason why I love snowmobiling because when you snowmobile, you get out to places that common folk will never see because the only way to get there is by a snowmobile. Yep. So unless you do it, you're never going to see it. And you do get so many picturesque overlooks <laughs> and scenic views and stuff that you just don't. It's just beautiful. Exactly. You don't get to see it that often, and um, it's another reason why I just fell in love with snowmobiling. And I'm going to yep. do that until my body says no more. Yeah. You'll have many decades. Hopefully. Good Lord Hopefully. willing. Absolutely. Good Lord willing. Hopefully. But we do have, like, <laughs> group messages. Oh, here goes my beer can. The Allagash, the way life should be. Technically, it's the way life is right now. It was for thousands of years. You did this trip after Moosehead. Like this yep. is like a newer place that you this found is. within like just the last, last year or two. Oh, I knew okay. about it before. I just never got around to going here until 2019. Well, then that's your answer right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Because we pretty much go where Coop goes. <laughs> I'll tell you what yeah, I have. Then go scout, scout it out. Oh, it's good. Okay, we take your word for yeah. it. We'll go. <laughs> you know what I'd love to do next year? Um, I don't know if you guys could do six or seven days. Is do the uh, the second half of the Allagash River, put it at like Churchill Dam, and then like. They can actually. Um, How many miles? It's like 42, but the <laughs> the river really runs the whole way. Can't so you get the current. I yeah, I, I can't. I'm getting married. Like I, I yeah, I've got to be very careful with my time next year. I was gonna say I probably could, but I would have to maybe eliminate. I'll do it solo. I'll give you guys a. Like uh, yeah, I have to eliminate something in order to. I'll do a dry run for you guys, and then I'll just report back, and you know we'll know the good sites and all that. Yeah, well, that's usually what we have you do anyway. Right. You're like our tour guide. You know what? I, you know what I want to do someday. I want to eventually see every site on the Allagash, film it, and sell it as like a package, like your Allagash guide to all the campsites, you know, and sell it for like 20 bucks. I got him. Yeah, yeah, you definitely you know. the business thing. The yeah, business. I model. just, I just didn't grab it. Like.
little bit bigger. That's right. All right. Put them on. Yeah. Okay. Oops. After attempting my luck at fishing with hazmat on a little side trip into the cove, there was a campsite that I wanted to check out. It looked like it was really uh, rarely utilized. All right, this and probably was very rook. buggy as well. Nonetheless, just thought I'd get some footage of it. gonna go on record and say that I highly advise <laughs> Do ya? Like, hey, but that's why I'm hazmat. I'm a uh, fuck it. Let's just do it. That's right. But then Coop joins me and he's like, no, nah, dude. He's like, I'm gonna go first. So I'm like, you know what? I got more to lose. So you wanna you go do. first? Go right ahead. I don't so, have kids. You do. So Coop goes first. He survives the jump, so I'm like, all right, now I definitely have to yeah, go. There's like 150 people at the bottom watching. Well, they're all watching and you cheering us on and back all that. Out now. So yeah, Coop goes first. He survives, so I'm like, fuck it, here we go. Jump In off. This whole conversation, the question that had to be asked is: the juice worth the squeeze? Yeah. Woo. There it is, boys. I think we go be good. Has Matt living up to his name? Hell yeah, motherfucker. Hell yeah. Your mask deflated. Yeah, I like locked air, you know. Woo. Feel the heat. Make fun of me for kindling, but kindling uh, gets it going. Maybe oh it yeah. Got, maybe because it got cooler. Yeah, maybe. Yo, dude. Look. After a lengthy group discussion the previous day, we all came to the conclusion it was probably best that we all go all but the last half mile and then spend the night again at the Boy Scout campsite, which really was nice, our first night. Little did we know what would we be in for, though. The first mile or so looked pretty calm, and it was. But that was because we were sheltered from the wind once we rounded the bend to the southeast, the fetch all the way up the lake was going to really throw some head seas at us. Yeah. You can tell the water, it'll turn brown a little These bit. head seas were no joke. Especially for hazmat being in a much more difficult and less hydrodynamic kayak. Of course, we were just taking a little bit of a breather, and we like Dewey and Mario. Take the lead. Yeah, I don't really have the uh, lures. We kind of wanted sure. to cut over to the other side because the fetch would be less, but they were not really doing that, and I just wanted to make sure that they didn't get lost, so I just stayed on the more exposed yeah, side for what it was worth. the waters worth. the fish just troll the bottom usually. Yeah, I do maybe have some weight and stuff, but I haven't really done a whole lot of like deep water fishing. Sure. I'd probably be like digging and you just kind of bounce it oh, yeah. along the bottom of the shore or the, yep. the bottom. Get them to fight that way. I see. After 
six mile paddle in the head seas that took over three hours, I can't even tell you how glad we were to get back to the Boy Scout camp. It would mean just another half mile paddle tomorrow on go home day. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh yeah, wasn't it? I'm so glad we're here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's just stay at uh, no, Gravel Beach another night. No, I like, mean, eh. had we stayed at Life Point even. Because we're coming back. I'm like, do we finish the turn? We didn't realize, like, we're looking. We're like, we're I going. noticed that you guys almost went to the left. No, but I'm like, I knew that when we came out of here, I saw that view there. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, we took a left out of here. I'm like, where's the opening though? Finally, the sun shined down. Yeah. And I'm like, it's right there. Like, you can see it coming through. And oh, the yeah. boat came out, and we're like, it's got to be there. Yeah, exactly. But it felt like you had to go that... all the way to the tree line to turn, and we yeah. knew it wasn't the yeah. end, but it's deceiving. It like is. Your depth perceptions. Well, Haz almost thought it was to the left, I, th I think. Did that warden stop to talk to you guys? Yeah. But he mainly was like, do you have a life preserver on board? And I had to pull it underneath my seat. I'm like, yup. Oh, how's you? How's the fishing? He said, uh, of course, your heart would start probably racing. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. fire and fry it up. You yeah. <laughs> fry it up. <laughs> Oh, uh, smoke, smoke some, uh, some ribs. That would be really good. Body. But, no, I kept going up and you yeah. know, just like this the whole time. It's just <clears throat> I get into like that rhythm, you know. Yeah, once you get that. Do we really have a fire or is that just like a fucking red strobe light? Uh that's a fire. Is it? I'll take a look. Last day of Sunday, pack it up here at Boy Scout. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly Sunday fun day. Uh, nope. Last half mile, the last day. And the fun begins packing up. My favorite part of the whole trip. My least favorite part. <laughs> For some reason, I don't believe that. <laughs> yeah, I always heavily laced uh, sarcasm. <laughs> 